You know, if there was one other man out there that can make my daughter smile ear to ear, it would definitely be this man right here. And I, I thank you for being another man that my daughter could look up to and the reason that she could smile throughout her battle with cancer. You know, when my, my daughter was first diagnosed with cancer, I felt like I was in a nightmare. I remember the first week in the hospital, I would sneak out the room and I would go down to the chapel and I would just cry. I would just ask God, why did he give my daughter this fight? And I would beg him to give me the fight with death rather than my daughter. The way I looked at it was, I was blessed with the ability to play football. And by the age of 26, I was able to experience things people don't in their entire life. And at the age of four, my daughter hadn't even begun to understand what life was all about. I remember one night in the hospital, and I was sitting next to her in her bed getting ready to go to sleep. And out of nowhere, she just started touching her stomach and putting something in mine. And I looked down at her and I asked her, like, Leah, what are you doing? And she looked up to me and said, Dad, I'm taking the cancer out of me and I'm giving it to you. When she said that, you know, my heart dropped and I broke down in tears. It wasn't tears of sadness, it was tears of joy because I thought that was a sign from God that he was answering all my prayers. We met with the doctors a couple of days later to get the results of her test, and I couldn't wait to see the disbelief on the doctors' faces when they saw my daughter didn't have cancer. But when they opened their mouth, when they opened their mouth, they didn't say that they didn't find cancer. They told our family that the cancer had spread all throughout my daughter's body, and I was crushed. You know, it was at that moment that I realized we had two options. We could have lost faith and just let this battle with cancer get the best of us, or I could give my daughter's battle with cancer a purpose and use my platform to try to raise as much awareness as possible. You know, not knowing how hard it was going to be, we decided not to give up. Not long after being out in Cincinnati, it started to take a toll on me. You know, giving up the one thing that us as parents of kids who are battling cancer hold on to, which is being able to be by their side and let them know they're not in the fight alone, I gave up. And I didn't feel good about that. You know, my daughter being only five, she couldn't understand the sacrifice I was making for her as a parent. She just knew that she wanted her dad, and I wasn't there all the time. And, you know, that really hurt me. It made me feel like I wasn't a father. After a while, it, it took a toll on me, and I hit rock bottom. You know, it was so many times I was out in Cincinnati and I would sit in my house and I would think about going to the nearest liquor store and buying the biggest bottle of vodka I could find and drinking it just to take away all my pain. But when I thought about it, I couldn't do it because every day I preached to my daughter that she couldn't give up, that she couldn't let this battle get the best of her. And who was I to go try to find the escape through liquor and she had no escape for her pain that she was going through. So I didn't do it. Instead, I would grab my fiance's hand every night and we would drop to our knees and we would pray to God that I didn't lose my daughter while I was in Cincinnati and that she was able to fight for that. When I got home, we can make up for the time that was lost. And that time, God answered my prayers because my daughter went to remission. And you know, we, we definitely couldn't have made it through last year if we didn't have a great supporting cast. And I would just like to thank God for surrounding me with the people we needed to make it through last year. I'd like to thank Jimmy V and the ESPYs for creating a platform so that I can continue to try to raise awareness for cancer. To the Bengals, and y'all set the example for corporate America. Y'all let everybody know what it's like for an employer to stick behind his employee when we can do nothing for you. Coach Lewis, and to the Brown family, I honestly can say I love y'all for allowing me to be a father first and putting football secondary because y'all helped me save my daughter's life. You know, <laughs> to the media, every time I sat down with y'all to tell our story, y'all would thank me for sitting down with y'all. But I really have to say I owe y'all a thank you because every time y'all sat down with me, Y'all helped me give my daughter's fight a purpose, and y'all helped me raise awareness for cancer to help other families out. And for every child out there that's battling cancer, you know, on TV, I look like the hero. I look like I'm saving the day. But honestly, y'all are the real heroes. What I do is easy. I stand in front of people, and I tell them y'all's story. 
but y'all are the ones that are actually battling cancer and going through rounds and rounds of chemo every day and radiation. And y'all remain with a smile on y'all face and y'all never give up. And that's so inspiring and it helped me through my battle. And I'm here today to let y'all know as long as I have this platform, I'm going to continue to fight for y'all and let y'all know just how important y'all lives are and let y'all know that y'all are worth more than 4% that the government gives y'all. It's for my fiance. You're the only person that knows what I went through this whole time I was at Cincinnati. It was weeks where we would go out and not show any type of affection, no hugs, no kiss, because I was so mentally drained from everything I was going through. And you stood by my side. You let me know that you wasn't going nowhere, that you was going to be there for me. And, you know, we got engaged a little bit after Leah was diagnosed. And you didn't have the typical, typical engagement where we sit down and we plan everything. Because I didn't want to do anything until I knew my daughter was going to be able to walk down that aisle as a flower girl. And I thank you for being so unselfish. And I promise you that I'm going to try to give you the wedding of your dreams. And that don't mean when we leave here tonight, you go back dreaming of some crazy stuff and throwing up the budget, but I got you. You know, to my parents, I, I wouldn't be the father I am today. Growing up, y'all showed me what it's meant for a family to stick together, and y'all showed me how much love can conquer us all. And I, I just love y'all, and I thank you for all the life lessons you taught me. You know, last but not least, my beautiful daughter. I know you could wish you could be here, but I know you're watching. And I, I just want to thank you. From the moment you was born, you molded me into the man I am today. And you know, I always used to dream about how I was going to be able to show you so much about life. But in the five years I've been with you, you taught me more about life than I could ever do. And I love you, and I, I'm just proud of the way that you've been handling yourself this past year. And my daughter couldn't be here, like I said, but she had a message for everybody, so... Sorry I couldn't be here, everybody, but thank you for supporting me while I be on cancer. Hey, Levi. Hey, Daddy. Thank y'all. Thank you for all the support.